been with the reserves for a little over four years now. On the Challenger 2 main bus tank, I am a fully qualified driver. I also am in charge of maintenance, everything below the turret, so it's quite a technical role as well. With the Army Reserves, I've been in countless exercises over the past four years. We do everything from Land Rovers, dismounted infantry, armour, scouting, um, even FIBRA, which is fighting in built up areas. I feel very competent in our training. It's very good, it's condensed and it's hard work. But once we've finished our training packages, we do actually know what we're doing and we're quite happy to do it as well. We like to be here this weekend, giving up our spare time because it's good fun. And also we feel like we're actually achieving something with, through our training. The Challenger 2 training that we've been doing has stepped up a lot in the, over the past year. It's a new role given to the Royal Essex Yeomanry with yeah. only Army Reserve Regiment who will be on armour on the Challenger 2. We've done uh, live firing packages in Lulworth last year, over a week on Salisbury Plain. It's really important to carry out this kind of training because it's really easy to have a skill fade on anything you do, whether it be riding a bike or uh, drawing a picture. Tanks are very complex, there's a lot of components to them. So the more time we get to maintain them, drive them and work off them, the better training we're going to have. When I'm not a reservist, I'm currently doing a postgraduate master's degree down at Portsmouth, which is quite different to driving a tank. My degree is in uh, project management, so business. I'm using some of the skills I've learned here from leadership, management and development and taking it across there where things are slightly different in the civilian world, but there are crossovers, definitely. I joined the reserves because I thought it'd be a lot of fun and I was proven completely right. Being a reservist, you do get quite a lot of uh, attention from friends back home. Um, it's quite a mixed bag, but overall, I think most of my friends are quite jealous, especially when I'll go and uh, show them the photos of what we've been doing this weekend. And it has encouraged a few to start inquiring about joining up their local units as well. Monday morning, it'll be time to meet up with some friends and uh, tell them some of my stories from over the weekend. The happiest I've ever been is sitting inside one of the Challenger 2s and uh, driving across Solsby Plain.